world when our own just seems too dark It's the compassion of the goddess in a little lark And the birds are free and on What's up, witches? Happy Beltane again, again. again. We are making uh, one of our favorite Taco Sabbath videos, which involves making some booze. ceremonial booze, wine, mead, gruel, whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. It's grueling. Um, and today we are going to be making our signature Beltane, Beltane booze. booze. Okay, so. For our base today, we are going to be using Vanna. Show them. What brand is that? You know Carlo one? Rossi. This is Rhine. Ooh, and it smells good. It's like a table wine. It kind of has like an apple-y taste to it. It's very kinda good. Kind of tart. Oh, my elbow. And um, we're going to be putting lots of different herbs in there to infuse. Um, and some uh, lavender essence as well. So we're going to go ahead and get started showing you how to make a little Beltane booze. Can I get a... Amen. I already finished mine. Mm. So we'll see you witches in un momento. All right, witches. We're getting ready to start adding our herbs to our beautiful bottle of Rhine. And um, we're going to start with our dry herbs. So, Brittany, why don't you go ahead and add us some lemon balm and show the children. Show our babies. Pop the corns and feed the children. Pop the corns, feed the children. These are herbs that we grew with our own two hands, honey. Well, this one's still got strain in it. Hang on. So we're going to try not to put too many, like, thingies in it, but... Yeah, like that. Because we don't want to be on that show monsters inside me. Eek. So there goes some lemon balm, which has a nice uh, herby, lemony taste to it, of course. Um, it is called lemon balm. A little spicy, maybe. Whoopsies! Um, so we're just throwing some of that in there. We definitely want to grow some more of this this year. Yeah. It's, mine's trying to come back just a little bit. I don't know if mine will. All right, and next, Brittany, why don't you give the children a little hibiscus? Not to be confused with sea biscuit. Not to be confused with hibiscusa, the goddess of flowers. JK, Miss Thang. <laughs> Girl, I want some biscuits. Doesn't that sound good? Hell yeah. Goddess is a biscuit. Now this will turn the uh, booze A little red. red. So we're just taking a handful pinch like that. And in they go. Brittany's you want to use the funnel? No, oh, I got you got this. it. You got I it. got this. All right. So in she goes and where she stops. We all know. Uh, no, don't you do it. That should be good. All right. I like to be a little bit sour, so I'm adding more. And the next thing that we are going to add, guys, um, is some um, star anise, which has like a very licorice flavor if you've never um, messed with. Oh. Um, but yeah, these are always good for any of our ceremonial um, type. And of, plus, we are licorice hoes, so. We are. And we these have like such a nice meaning because they, you know, have like the, you know, the pointed star. So I'm going to take about three. So one Z, two Z, three Z. And you know what? I'm feeling it. Give it a four Z. Okay. Oh. All right. At least it's not a close up. And next, we are going to add some of Rhiannon's favorite. Jasmine, Jasmine, okay? So we're trying to pick some stuff that we know she likes too because this is one of her main holidays. And we do honor her a lot on this very day, so. On this wonderful day that Goddess has blessed us with. All right, Brittany, so give them a tablespoonful of Jasmine. Ooh. The floor got most of it, it looks like. Oh, well, that's what the electronic bees and for, isn't it? That's right. Okay. Oh, well, it's alcohol. I don't get all that stuff out of it. Let's sit here. We have our little 
Athame here to add our special intentions, our love, our honor for Goddess Rhiannon, ah. who's given us so many blessings. This is for all the goddesses, too. They and then like we're going to be putting in some dehydrated hawthorn berries. Okay? In the form of a pellet. So we're just going to put some of those in there. You can see, I don't know if you can, guys, if it's focusing, there's all kinds of bubbles and stuff rising. I think we're getting some good juice going in there. Well, we might hey. need the funnel for this. Funnel, not spoon, Charlotte. This is how lovely turtle shop. Give it to him with the pellets. Rolling wood and Cause Hawthorne, Hawthorne, Hawthorne is a very um, big plant for this time of year too. So, Slam, dump, bump. you know, we might as well go for it, honey. You want more? No, that's good. That is good. Oh, it's going to carbonate and it's going to be so good. It, it. All right, so we only have two more ingredients of the same, well, three of the same kind. Oh, yeah. One of them is lavender. This is the lavender we grew last mm. year. Oh, sorry. Tasting good. Okay, so I'm going to give you some sprigs to put in. Trying not to put a whole lot of twigs. Oh, they smell so good. And these already have lots of love and intention in those because they're beautiful plant. And our fairies have been around them, so lavender's a big deal for us. All right, and now the next thing, this is some lavender tincture that we made. And if you see, it's like super concentrated dark green. And it tastes just like lavender juice, like just juice. But plus with the hairspray. And here she goes. Hi. There she is, okay? Oh, look at that. So we're making some good witches brew, honey. Okay, and last but certainly not least, we're going to be putting in some organic raw honey. Let me taste test it first. <laughs> I don't know how we're going to get that in there, but it's going to be good. Mm. Okay. There she goes. Roll that beautiful honey footage. In the name of the goddess. Right, guys so we are almost done now and we are about to cap off our Beltane booze and we are going to give it a good shake so Brittany's gonna do the honors of the shake just to get everything nice and mixed beautiful babe all right so there she is, Beltane Booze. Now this is the Sunday before we are going to be celebrating Beltane, which um, should give this plenty of time to infuse. Some people only give their um, infusions like three days because they, you know, don't want it to be, you know, too overpowered. Um, but we kind of like the extra juiciness, so we're going to let ours... Um, go at it. Now, since we did use dried herbs, um, this can sit in the sun. So, um, we're actually probably going to set it on an altar here in the front room so it gets lots of sun. And, uh, I like how the green is like, mm -hmm. so cool. But anyway, we hope you guys enjoyed that. And, uh, we will see the finished product when we film our <laughs> fairies Beltane, um, <laughs> our Beltane uh, video of us trying to celebrate Beltane amongst all of our um, construction that's going on. So hopefully it'll be fun and hopefully you guys enjoyed this. And until we see you guys uh, next time, just remember. Goddess. Goddess is great. We're yellow, we're yellow, I love ya, we're yellow, we're always a day away. Yes, God.
Maybe if we put that spotlight on us, girl, that's scary. <laughs> What's up, witches? Huh? Honey, I've already hit off of the lavender tincture and I'm wild AF. All right.